Hey everyone, welcome to a little segment I like to call Motivation Monday. You guys ready? Well, let's get to it. Hey, what's up guys? So welcome back to another Motivational Monday. So today we're going to be talking about shifting from past, present, and future, and in between, you know, back and forth between them um, as a way to motivate yourself or to remember why you do certain things and help you uh, get back to your why. So what you can do, sometimes you need to be in the here and the now um, and figuring out what your next move is and all that, like being in the moment, being in the present. Um, but oftentimes it's good to reflect back on the past to look at um, some good memories, some good things that have happened to you to kind of give you a little bit of motivation when you're feeling down, you know, and also um, to the future, to um, set your goals and your aspirations and things that you want to achieve. So at the same time, you know, you don't want to dwell too much in the future or too much in the past, but you know, you want to have those things there as a tool and a resource to help you. And as you practice it more and more, you'll improve on it and you'll get better and better. Now, some of the things that I look back on in the past, um, you know, that I've accomplished is, you know, I've had many successful jobs um, that I've done well at. Um, I've won uh, big tournaments in Magic the Gallery. Not super, super, super big, but I've won some pretty good ones um, that have made me feel good. And I, I, I look at those as a sense of accomplishment, um, you know, or where I'm at right now and how I've gotten here. Um, but you also don't want to dwell on painful past. There's a lot of things in my past that are painful and sometimes I'll start thinking about those and you have to, you have to take those and realize, look, those things happened. It's time to move on. They're there. They shaped me to who I am today, but it's not going to define who I am moving forward. And so using that as like a way to guide yourself and learn from it and not make the same mistakes. Um, it's good, but you don't want to dwell on it and get kind of down or depressed because those things happen to you. Yes, we all have things that happen to us that give us some kind of emotional baggage or something, but we want to learn from those things. We want to take them and we want to shape them into what we can use them, not what they want to shape us into. So you can use that moving forward. So looking into the future sometimes will help you realize, hey, this happened to me before, I don't want it to happen again, this is what I want to do to prevent that from happening. Or I have aspirations to be a, um, be a head chef at a very fancy restaurant, or I want to get a, a really, really, really nice car because I've never had one before, or I can't wait to get a house and it be a four bedroom, three bath house with a pool. You know, having goals, looking to the future, seeing what uh, you can envision in your mind on what you want to get to will help you give you motivation as well because you can sit there and and be bummed out one day and just be like man nothing's going the way I want it to be you know and then you turn around and you look at your vision board or your goals or whatever you have set up like I have a thing set up in my room to where I have a lot of my goals written on it and if I'm feeling kind of bad that day like you know I'm just like man nothing's working things are getting tough and I'll look at that goal board and I'll be like, you know what? It's one day out of a, out of very many days that I have. And I, I usually look at that and I go, you know what? Today we're taking baby steps. Today we're only maybe going forward an inch rather than sprinting for a mile. You know, some days you haul, you just, you get there and you're moving and you're getting things done and it, it feels like you're just flying. And then other days it feels like you're out of crawl and there's just nothing happening. But you have to realize that you're going to have days like that. And having that, that goal board or whatever you want to motivate you, maybe it's a quote. Maybe you put a quote up in your room or on your bathroom mirror that really tells you like, hey, it's going to be tough sometimes and some days it's going to be great, but this is what's going to help you move forward. Or, you know, or a picture of what you want to get. Or, you know, there's, there's so many things out there that can help motivate you. And... Um, the point is, is, is if it's a futuristic goal or, or something that you're going to obtain later, 
it's good to put it up somewhere so that it reminds you on why you're doing what you're doing. I mean, it can even be um, a, a, uh, a mantra or a person, uh, per, um, not a personality, uh, a mantra or a, a disciplinary type um, deeper meaning of I want to just make the world a better place or I want to try to make one person smile a day or whatever it is. You know, there's, there's lots of different ways to do things when it comes to motivating and being um, just overall a better person to yourself and others. So that's that's what I wanted to talk about today. So I, the motivational task of the week that I wanna give you guys, um, if you don't already have one, I, I, I strongly suggest that you do a vision board or a goal board. Um, I'm gonna link, uh, I'm gonna put the link down below to a guy who describes how to make a vision board, vision board, a vision board very well, and he goes through some tips and stuff with you. So, if you've never done one before, it's kind of fun, um, and it may even motivate you to do something you haven't thought of before. So, thank you guys for stopping by, watching the videos. If you got something out of it, give it a like, a thumbs up, share it off to somebody who you think might need to hear this. Um, if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. Come back. I'd love to see you all watching my stuff. It's awesome that you guys comment and do whatever you do while watching. Um, again, I thank all of you for stopping by, and I hope you all have a wonderful day, and God bless.